I'm Martha Tesmer. Thanks for taking the time to learn a little bit more about my family. You see, as a family of four, we loved to spend time together. We really just loved each other. Our family had big plans for the future. We'd already started talking about the life milestones that were yet to happen that we were going to get to enjoy together. But all of that changed. All of our plans changed on a single trip home from the movies based on decisions that were made inside the vehicle. Life isn't a video game. There's no do-overs. There's no reset button. They chose to wrestle around, to, to want to have fun in a vehicle instead of being safe. That's when my family's life changed forever. That was the day my son lost his life. To Donovan, family always came first. In fact, his friends knew that if he had something going on with family, not to ask him to miss it because he wouldn't. As Donovan entered eighth grade, he took up football, and football became his passion. From that point forward, my family and I, we went to every game Donovan was ever in. On game day, well, my daughter and I, we would take turns wearing the extra jersey that he wasn't wearing for that game. You see, we wanted the whole crowd to know that he belonged to us, and we belonged to him. As Donovan entered high school, he continued with football. He also took up weightlifting. Because Donovan wanted to excel on that football field, he knew he needed to be fast, he needed to be strong. Not only did Donovan take on that challenge for himself, but he encouraged his teammates to do the same. Because what he was known for was encouraging people to push themselves beyond their limitations. Now in his free time, what little he had, he played lead guitar in three different bands. That's how he relaxed. But in Donovan's world, what he was most known for is he just liked to have fun. You see him here with his dad, whitewater rafting, wakeboarding, snowboarding, even hang gliding. If there was something fun to do, Donovan was the first one to volunteer and say, I want to do it, because he wanted to learn how to do that activity, and then he wanted to teach all of his friends. Well, the last sport Donovan took up was surfing, and you see him here teaching his friends how to surf. What I hope you're able to pick up from these family photos is that my son loved life. He especially loved his life. He was dedicated to family and friends and was so excited about living out the life that he had worked hard to create. In fact, he was on the threshold of all of his dreams about to come true. The day after Donovan died, his friends at the high school put on a memorial service and over 2,000 people attended because he was the kind of person he had touched hearts, he had touched lives, and he was gone. That football team that had practiced all summer to protect him so he could carry the football down their field. But instead, they followed their coach as he led 200 uniformed football players behind Donovan's casket down the aisle of a church. Donovan's six best friends on that varsity football team, they carried Donovan's casket to the hearse to say goodbye. And as for his family, life will never be the same. Holidays and get-togethers, milestones that he was supposed to be there for now has to be experienced without him. As his mom, my heart is broken. To me, he was my baby boy, the, the youngest, my only son, a child that was supposed to have experienced life with me. But instead, every day is a struggle, every day is a challenge as I continue to try to live life without my son. Thank you for taking the time and showing the interest in learning about what happened to my family. At this time, on behalf of my family, what I would like you to take with you into your world of influence is a single thought that every time you get in a vehicle, you have to make good choices. Otherwise, it could be the last choice you make on this earth. It was for my son, Donovan. For more information and additional resources on this life-saving topic, please visit us at impactteendrivers.org.